Hey there, history buffs. Today, I'm diving into the origins of Orthodox Christianity. It's a tale that spans centuries, nations, and empires. Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey through time. So, our story kicks off in the early days of Christianity. After Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, his followers spread his teachings across the Roman Empire. The early Christian church was a diverse mix of communities with varying interpretations of Jesus' message. Fast forward to the 4th century, the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great played a pivotal role in shaping Christianity. In 313 AD, he issued the Edict of Milan, granting religious tolerance throughout the empire. This was a game-changer for Christians who had faced periods of intense persecution. But Constantine didn't stop there. In 325 AD, he convened the First Council of Nicaea. This was a landmark event where bishops from across the empire gathered to address theological disputes and establish a unified Christian doctrine. One of the key outcomes was the Nicene Creed, a statement of faith that remains central to Orthodox Christianity today. Now let's fast forward again to the 11th century. By this time, the Christian Church had grown significantly in both the western and eastern parts of the Roman Empire. However, Differences in theology, liturgy, and political tensions began to cause a rift. This culminated in the Great Schism of 1054, a major split between the Western Church, led by the Pope in Rome, and the Eastern Church centered in Constantinople. The Eastern Church, which became known as the Eastern Orthodox Church, maintained traditions and practices distinct from the Western or Roman Catholic Church. The Orthodox Church emphasizes the importance of the original teachings of the Apostles a rich liturgical life, and the concept of theosis, or becoming one with God. The fall of Constantinople in 1453 was another significant moment for Orthodoxy. The city, a crucial center of the Eastern Orthodox Church, was conquered by the Ottoman Turks. Despite this, the Orthodox faith persisted and even spread to Russia and other parts of Eastern Europe, becoming deeply rooted in these cultures. Today, the Orthodox Church consists of several self-governing churches like the Greek Orthodox, Russian Orthodox, and Serbian Orthodox Churches. Each has its own distinct traditions and practices, but all share a common faith and heritage rooted in the early Christian Church. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the origins of Orthodox Christianity. From the early days of the Roman Empire to the present, Orthodoxy has a rich and complex history that continues to inspire millions around the world. If you enjoyed this historical dive, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating journeys through time. Until next time, keep exploring.